fucking fight back Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott. Welcome to the 1% Podcast. I'm here today with my boy Omni. Now, um, give me your real name. It's Emrinder Cambodge. Okay, now you guys know I can't say that, but this dude is a straight savage, and I call him Omni because not only has he just done some amazing things, his story's super cool, he's crushing it, he's killing it, he's changing his bloodline, he's young, he's good looking, he's super smart, he's educating. Uh, he has a blueprint in which I know thousands of people that have taken that has changed their life. And I was like, dude, I got to have you like share with everybody what you're doing, what's going on. And, and by the way, before I hand it over to him, um, I'm doing an event in Cabo with Omni. And I'm actually doing one of my good friends, Brad Lee. Okay, you guys know Brad Lee, right? Go to Instagram, type in Brad Lee, the real Brad Lee. You guys will see my boy Brad, me, and we're going to be with him in Cabo for three days. This event's going to be crazy. It's stupid dirt cheap. If you want information on this event, all you got to do is go down to the description box below and you literally see that phone number. It just says text for information. Just text. We'll send you over the details. I'd love to spend a couple days with you in Cabo, changing your life, kicking ass, and getting to know you. But let's start this, man. Hey, number one, I appreciate you, dude. Seriously, I'm glad you're here. You live Thanks in Cali. You live in Cali, right? That's correct, Andy. Okay. You got your beautiful wife. You got one son. Yep. Okay, so let's talk. How old are you? And then let's talk about what you're doing now. And let's go back in your journey and let's drop some bombs and some things that have helped you yeah, change your life. Yeah, yeah. So I'm th uh, 30, currently 31 years old, and we run a successful 13 companies throughout the world. We have offices in eight, eight different countries. Okay. We're talking about U.S., Canada, New Zealand, and Australia, Dublin, Philippines, India, Pakistan, and a bunch of other countries that we're looking at as, as well, too. What do you do? Uh, we do uh, accusations in SaaS businesses and e-commerce. We buy e-commerce brands, SaaS businesses, and then from what we know in my back-end team, we just increase the shit out of it. And then on top of that, we're a private equity, not just for the ultra-rich, small, medium, and large. So you can invest anywhere from $5,000 to a couple million dollars, depending on what you're comfortable with. My whole mission in life, Andy, is literally just helping people get educated about how money works and how the world works. Mm. Number two is to help people get wealthy. Reason, it's very personal to me because there's a point in my life where I had businesses. I had two businesses. They were GNC, Sun Sports and Nutrition Brands. Uh -huh. Like fitness was my thing, yeah. right? But the problem was, I, since it was a franchisee and then COVID happened, I start, I lost literally everything. So my income stopped. I had two stores. One got shut down. The other one had to shut down. That one too. My income stopped. Although my dad has gas stations and stuff, but that wasn't me, dude. I can't just sit there and sell people swishers when I'm over here all my life for seven years. My first shop, I was 20 years old. You know, from 20 to up until 26 years old, I'm selling, telling people how to be healthy. But over here now, just to make, just to, you know, get the income going and stuff like that again, I'm selling people's beer, wine, liquor, all these drugs and stuff. I wasn't passionate about it. So I had to do something else. Back in 2018, started e-commerce and from there just grew it. Now we have over $250 million in portfolio under our belt around the world. Let's talk about that. How did you get good at e-commerce? You say, but by the way, let's just start. So anybody right now, if you want to become great at something, you got to study. Yeah, you got yeah. to get around people who are good at it. You got to yes, pay. Yes, no, at the same time. Well, you, you got to you got to either study for speed or you got to cut the check to someone. Correct. To speed up the path. Correct. So that's the path that I went. So I know about how business works. I know how finances work. I know how taxes work, marketing, and business structure. Right. And then what I did was I try to find people who I can partner with, mm. plug and play and let's go. So my partners, we have an office in, in, uh, in Pakistan. We have over 450 employees that are working with us. Mm -hmm. Right. They are the back end experts of the e-commerce of, of how to grow these businesses, how to grow these brands, how I to grow it. these SaaS businesses. Oh, dude, some of the chat GTP AI stuff that we're coming out with in the next year, it's going to blow people mind. I'll, it's I'll, crazy. Dude, I'm going to show you this one that we have about fitness. You're going to love it. I love it. And I'm all in. so basically what I do is they run that and then I have an acquisition team. They're the ones that are doing all the analytics of what I've created of what kind of brands and um, what kind of SaaS businesses we're looking for. Through my algorithm, I, that team is about 20 of them. All they're doing 24 seven is just looking for acquisitions. Mm. Just here flying to Scottsdale from California oh, on the plane ride, I was texting my team, we bought seven acquisitions, you know? So we're just trying to grow as quickly as possible. And the, the beauty of it is the way we have structured everything is it's not just for the wealthy, like I said, it's also for the middle, small person as well too. I got like people that are working at my dad's gas station, leveraging a credit card and investing 20 to 30K just from that. And that helps them get ahead in life. Mm. You know, so the, I hate the 
IRA, 401ks, all your financial advisors are bullshitting the crap out of you so they can make more money. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Why do you want to be rich when you're 75 years old and you have no no ambition in life. Well, yeah, you don't want to start rocking when exactly. you're 75. Exactly. Like, like you bought your wife a Ferrari. Yeah, you want to rock Black now. Friday, right? Yeah. You don't want to. She don't want to drive that when she's like 65, 70 years old. No, no. right? You want that money now. She doesn't look hot in the Ferrari when she's 90. Yeah. I mean, she. I mean, to me, she'll probably look hot. But yeah. to the rest of the world, you know, it's like she she should have rocked it when she was 40. Exactly, bro. Yeah, or even younger if you're watching. Exactly. So then what happened is I'm, I'm I'm showing these people to get that money out of out of these markets and start putting into places where you can start cash flowing now so you start using it. Mm. And then people start saying emergency funds and all this kind of stuff. Brother, let, let me ask you this. If you have something happens to your house, you have home insurance, they're going to yeah. cover it, right? Yeah. Now, if something happens to your car, a car accident, God forbid something happens like that, you have car insurance, correct? Mm -hmm. Something happens to your health, you have health insurance. Now, Andy, tell me a different, another emergency that might happen to you in your life. Not really. Those are the three biggest things, correct? Yeah, car, house, and, and uh, yeah, insurance. Health insurance, right? Yeah, That's it, right? But then other than that, people say, what about job security? Well, if you have enough money coming in, even if you lost a job and you had six months of, of financials saved up, what's going to happen on month seven? If well, you didn't get a job. What well, one of the things that I that I love that you said, and I'm going to tell you, this is advice that I'm very aware of. You said I want to teach people to understand money. Correct. Um, I think 99% of all of your competition, you could beat them if you understood money. 100%. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Like that's how you beat most people. Yeah. Is just you don't have to have it. You just have to understand it. Exactly. And then once you understand it, you sh you can make it really easy. Yeah. Especially when it comes to business strategies, that's the number one thing. Yeah. Is the budgeting, the forecasting. A lot of business owners that I uh, coach now, they did not know how to budget, forecast, when to hire, when to fire, anything like that. You don't even have to fire your staff if you plan ahead. Can we talk about this event me and you are doing? Because Correct. obviously Bradley's going to be there. I'm going to be there. I know what I'm bringing. I know what Brad's bringing. But you, you talked about releasing your entire blueprint for, all, for what you do for your companies and how you're growing all these other companies. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that? Like if somebody, when they come out to this event and they're obviously with me, they're going to obviously understand what you do. You're going to teach what you're doing inside of your businesses. Can we talk about like there's motivation, there's like inspiring people, but then there's like tactical shit. And yeah. you explain that yeah. at this event, you want nothing but to unroll the blueprint in which people can leave and take the blueprint and implement and win. Yeah. I mean, you and I, we've been through so many conferences. You've been on multiple stages, mm -hmm. right? You can get fired up. I can watch a YouTube videos. You can watch so many yeah, YouTube videos. Everybody it. can get fired up, right? But now what happens with the difference is you can get fired up. As two hours later, you're unmotivated. Well, you don't know if you don't know what to do and you're fired up, it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. now what about, it's, it's like a fitness trainer. Fitness trainer can, can motivate you. But he told you the blueprint of how to eat and how, how to train, right? And then you take action, mm -hmm. right? So what about if I gave you all my success secrets for the 13 companies, how fast you have grown them, and be like, hey, look, this is how your sales should look like. This is how marketing should look. This is how mm -hmm. brand strategy should look at. This is what worked for me. This is what didn't work for me. Um, I'm talking about good partnerships, bad partnerships, how to analyze those partnerships. I think that's huge. You know, well, most people don't understand what a bad partnership is until they run into one. Exactly. Yeah, to get taught what a bad partnership is and what to look for. And most people say, well, I mean, all of you are going to have the opportunity at some point to create a partnership with somebody. And you can either do the right one and you can just kill it and have a great life or you can do the wrong one you can put in years of hard work and literally lose everything yeah i see it all the time all the time all the time There's yeah. a, i have some partnerships right now that um they're 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 very genuine hard-working people but they got screwed up by somebody i'm talking about millions and millions of dollars like mm. they just bam vanished mm -hmm. right it's like what about if i can teach you to f how to f set your standards right and what you're looking for a person and see like to the point where i'm sitting right next to you mm -hmm. and you're talking and the words you're saying the way you're moving your eyes and hands and stuff like that i can notice like oh if he's being genuine or not and what questions to ask yeah now, there's one guy coming to the office too he's trying to be this big private equity guy i asked him a few questions every single time he would say nda 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 right he's he has billions of dollars under his portfolio and he's talking about Andy, Andy, you can't, you can't even tell me one thing. I literally just asked him through with three questions. I was like, what's, what's the biggest thing you've built? I can't say anything, bro, because of the NDA. Number two, what's the biggest exit you've ever made? I can't tell you what's the NDA. What's the most profit you've made in one of your companies? I can't tell you that's the NDA. Bro, the door's right there. You, you can leave. 
Yeah. Why would I pay you on a retainer for multiple thousands of dollars if you don't even give me the right form, uh, information? Now, let's just say you came up to me and you're like, hey, Ami, look, this is what I can do for your company. X, Y, Z, this is what works for all these other people, and this mm -hmm. is what we can do for you. Boom, let's go. Does that make sense? Yeah. So those are the structures, structures that I want to help out because I've been through some bad partnerships too. I mean, I got partnerships all around the world. I mean, I got shakes in Dubai who are a partnership. I got mm -hmm. Filipino uh, president we're looking to bring on a partnership for one of our projects in the Philippines. You know, but it's like, how do you navigate the right deals? And then the other thing is uh, legal terms as well, too. So I, we have a very solid legal team. Very. And then most people don't understand legal. And what happens is they do a partnership with someone and they both all of them work really hard for the first couple of years. And then there's a difference. Yeah. Um, you know, something happens. It's always going to happen, bro. Yeah, it, it is going to happen. And you never know what you have with somebody until they get angry or they get mad. Exactly. You know, and you don't see those things in the beginning. But later down the road, something like that happens. And then things go left or someone gets married or there's a divorce. Yeah. I mean, somebody could die in a family. I mean, you don't ever know when somebody checks out or something goes different. And then now you're working hard. They're not. This isn't fair. You try to have that conversation. It doesn't go the way you want. And that's where if you don't sign that legal deal up right, like you could understand you could lose everything you've worked hard for four years. Exactly. And, and it, anyways, I see it happen all the time. Yeah. Even so, contracts, contracts, you got to be careful on contracts. Like our team, my legal team, they look at spacings, dots. There's one contract that my lawyer was telling me. He said one dot made the whole difference. One period made the complete difference on the contract and he won the, he won the lawsuit. Like it's crazy. That, it's crazy, right? But you're like one period. Like how, how big of a difference? Yeah, and if make? you don't, no one trains you on that. You don't know what to look exactly. for. Exactly. Yeah, and people say, well, I'm never going to use that. Don't say never. Uh -huh. I always say that. Like when people always say never, I'm like, there's two rules. Don't always say always. Like you always do that. Don't always say always. Yeah. And then don't say never because yeah. you never know when you're going to have to understand it. And exactly. I never thought I'd understand legal, but I had to because I have a big legal team, but I want to be able to read stuff and understand it. And I want to be able to comprehend as well and if i'm going to hire somebody i mean i need to understand a little bit myself exactly yeah so and then touching base back what you said on the financial stuff what happens to a lot of business owners i'm pretty sure when you're coming up too you had a cpn accountant whatever mm -hmm. they said you did mm -hmm. right so that's what happened to me in 2020 i just paid so many checks i'm like dude i can't not do this again mm -hmm. my cpa fired him started talking to over hundreds of different cpas and they would not give me the right information so i started studying how taxes work, how money works even more, and then started building my own structure. Hey, I can save this much money if I just started doing this. Mm -hmm. So then we started educating those, our investors, on how to do that. And then, mm -hmm. then we started coaching other business owners. Dude, they're like, they're crushing it, they're making money, but they're yeah. also saving money as well too. Yeah, because it's not always about how much you make, it's also about how, how much, much you keep. Because yeah. you get it, keep it, and move it. Yeah, most Simple. people, they show their year to dates, but they have nothing to show for it. Exactly, but there's no money in the bank. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, there's no money in the bank. Yeah. Like, like after the taxes come, they yeah. don't realize that it's not enough. Exactly. And by the way, it could be enough. There are strategies in place that can allow you to keep more of your money. Yeah, that's and then just the, the other truth. thing there is are, too, there are great tax laws. Yeah, exactly. And the other thing is what, what we want to teach is how to use verticals and horizons in your uh, in, in your business. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I would love for you to come spend time with me in Cabo. I'm going to be speaking at a badass event. It's going to be three days. That's stupid dirt cheap. Number one, use it as a vacation. Use it as a time to come get close to me. And by the way, we're going to do it in Cabo. So if you want information on this event, you want information on this trip, and you're ready to change your life, and you want to do it with me, if I've brought you any value at any point in time and I've changed your life, wait till you see what I'm going to be bringing to Cabo. There's a side of me that you haven't met that I'm going to be bringing there. And by the way, I want to know who you are. I want to get close to you. Where are we going to do that? We're going to do it in Cabo. You guys see the number below? Just shoot a text. Say, hey, I saw this on Andy's podcast. I want information to go to Cabo. We'll send you all the details. We love you guys. Let's get back to the video. Mm. A lot of people, they focus on one business, one business only, and they just want to get multiple chains of it or whatever it is, mm -hmm. right? But then how do you create verticals, but then also uh, horizontals too? For, like for us, we're in the e-commerce business, right? So we're buying, these, we're, we're buying these brands, right? We're working with the biggest manufacturers out there. I'm talking about like... Uh, Clorox, Windex, all these big companies, right? Mm -hmm. And now all these products, they need warehousing, right? So now here, here comes another business, warehousing. So we'll sell our products as well too, but then if, if Andy needs his shirts, books, or something like that fulfilled, we'll fulfill it for you, mm -hmm. right? That's and great. then from there, and back in 2021, I bought a company, and it's called Impro Solutions for mm -hmm. 1.3 million. We acquired that company, and then we moved the office to China. So now we have sourcing power in China. 
That's crazy. You know? So now yeah. we have import export. So that's another business that we created. Mm -hmm. And then it came into the coaching, business strategy. So that's what I'm trying to say. It's like these are kind of the strides we want to show people. And that's how you become recession proof. Because what happens the majority of the time, small business, they think so small and shallow, it they're they they just keep it very narrow and keep it pacific. Mm -hmm. Right? Their business is gonna last forever. You you and I know that too. It's not gonna last forever. You gotta keep revolving, man. Um, let's talk about your come up. Okay. Like growing up. Yep. Right, like just walk us through that. Yeah, like, yeah. like so, and, and and also lead us into some decisions you made that you're like, damn man, I shouldn't have done that. I would recommend everybody stay away from things like that. Yeah. And then what are some things you're like, dude, this was smart. This is something I can look back on and say, man, that was an epiphany bridge, like something that really took me to the next level. Yeah. So, um, be before I start saying say anything, it's one thing that I love and one thing I, I I've understand at a very young age when I was like 21, 22 years old. I love struggle. Every time I struggled, something crazy has always happened. Mm -hmm. You know, number two, I've always looked for um, opportunities. That's true. And so those are always two things I'm looking for. And number three, dude, as long as I know, like you have confidence in yourself, you're able to literally come overcome anything. Mm -hmm. So growing up, I mean, my dad owns gas stations, you know, so it's not like I come from like a broken family or anything like that. Yeah. My dad did come from India, went to Germany, came here. And like for all those folks that say, oh, dude, I'm wrapped up in the system. I can't do this. I can't do that. Dude, the only difference between now and later, literally tomorrow, is the information that you have in your mindset. That's it. Right? So my dad came from India. He has no place to stay. Eat. He doesn't even know if he's going to survive. He's 25 years old. Right? And then slowly just work three or four jobs, will send some money overseas to his family. And then from there, start saving, started getting, a start, got a store, got married, got a store. And then I popped into the picture. Then my sister popped into the picture. And then from there... He, he, he bought a house and we start, you know, anyways, that's my dad's story. And then I had that opportunity uh, when I was 16 years old in high school to, uh, I was in a business class. Mm -hmm. And they, you, you had to go out in the field and pretty much do an internship for, for six months. So I got into fitness. I love fitness. I love training. I love it. What it, what it, what it mm -hmm. made me feel and, you know, all that stuff. And then, so I, I go into a local shop and I'm like, hey man, look. I want to do an internship. I just want to learn about the products I'm taking, why I'm taking, mm -hmm. right? Dude, that store was doing 600 within three to four months from me just talking to people at my high school, talking to people at the gym. We took it to 1,200 a day in sales. Damn. Doubled his sales. The next year, he, he hired me, so I worked a year for free. You know, a year for free. I will fulfill it on the Saturdays. I mean, I remember watching Super Bowls in the shop, too. How old were you? I was 17. That's cool. Yeah, 17. And then 18. Great first job. Yeah, so then 18. So I learned sales there. Mm -hmm. You know, 18, I became the manager there. And then I was 18, 19, and then 20, me and him, we partnered up. We bought another, a location together, a brand new location, took that store from zero to roughly about half a million dollars in, in one year. And then I literally worked probably for a year, probably like nine months all by myself, open, close, open, close. I would open the shop at 7 a.m., close the shop at 8 p.m., go train, and just repeat, mm -hmm. repeat, repeat, and then re promote, promote. That's great. So, and then from there, I was about 23. We split. We split um, partners. I bought them out. And then uh, I was 24, 25. I bought another location in Dublin, California. And when I was 23, I created a sports nutrition brand, too, called Biogens. Ran that for about two years. And then um, I was about 25. Um, one of my locations, it, it we, we had to close it down because the landlord, we had some issues with the landlord. He, he didn't want to increase the lease. Mm -hmm. so I lost, what, literally in a year and a half, 300K over there. Wow. And then the first location that I had, uh, my Tracy G, the first location that I had, that one started going down because, one, every you know this too, everyone's buying off of Amazon. Everybody's mm -hmm. buying off of e-commerce, right? Huge. They'll come in, they'll just open up the app, you scan it, you see the price difference. How are you supposed to compete when you're selling it for 50, you know, and they're selling it for 20? You have a lot you more can't. overhead. You yeah. can't, right? But um, so that was that. And then from there, I got lucky because I was like, okay, I'm seeing this trend that's going on. I lost my income from Dublin. I only have one income to go. Mm -hmm. I'm getting married. Right? I need to do something else. So then I started looking into e-commerce and I slowly stumbled into e-commerce, found the partnerships, and from there started growing it. Achoo. And now some of the mistakes that I did make was one. Again, like we were talking about contracts and partnerships uh -huh. and stuff, right? The partnership that I had, if we had everything in writing, would have been 10 times better. Number two, when I had my second location, the Dublin GNC one, if I read the, if I, if I read the lease term, I would have not lost 300K. I could have just pulled out right away. Rather wow. than making the deal, right? And then the other thing was along the way, uh, the biggest thing I messed up was on, I was always working in the business, not on the business, 
right? So my the training that I did for my guys, it was to the point where if you showed them like the bottle, they'll hand you the bottle, they'll know every single ingredient by the, by the milligrams to the grams, every single thing. I'm talking carnitine, citrulline, every single thing. That's how I had them trained. And so the training was great, but the problem where I messed up was marketing and then, mm -hmm. and then focusing on how to grow the business. And then so when I get into the e-commerce part of it and we're trying to like, okay, what can we do next? What can we do next? What can we do next? That's when I learned everything about verticals, horizontals. How can I use the team that I've built and get to so many different sectors? Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to show, show people out. You know, and the other thing is too, when you guys are coming to the event, it's not going to be like a normal event as far as like, you get motivated, like Andy said, you get motivated and all that kind of stuff. You're partying and stuff. If you guys want to drink and party, do not come to this event, right? Number two, if, you, if you're looking for actual things to take home and apply to your business, definitely come to this event. There's going to be a lot of folks like Andy, Bradley, Emily, mm -hmm. and her husband, Jake, uh, Nick, my team. Um, we're having a lot of people from overseas in my partnership. Like we, like I said, my partnership from Dubai mm -hmm. Shakes. Like, you know, like I'm talking about networks from anywhere from like 50 million to about half a billion dollars. Jeez. You know, huge, you know, like Filipino president, he's coming as well too. You can get mm -hmm. connected to these highly individuals and do something with it. Every, my whole entire circle is about that, you know? Yeah, and getting in these rooms, like they change your whole life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but a lot of people don't say that. I mean, they, they, a lot of people don't know that. I, I can I can tell you that a lot of my success has come from masterminds and things same here like that. same here so I realized that when I went to my first mastermind two years ago so the people that I was around the circle that I had my pre my previous circle all they wanted to do was just party get drunk mm -hmm. talk about chicks and that's it right and then now the circle that I, I was like okay I'm getting ahead they're getting ahead too right but then it's like how we're not we're not talking about helping other people out mm -hmm. they never talked about that. That what do you need in life? You need you need you need family. Facts. You need health, fitness, right? To keep your mind and body connected. And then you need what? You need you, you need a purpose in life. Mm -hmm. Purpose in life, brother. Everybody asks me, how do you find your purpose in life? It never has to do with anything with money. Facts. Never, ever. The fourth thing you always need is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Those are the only four things to be to be successful. Right? So when it when it when it comes to purpose, it's it's always about like what gets you happy. You know what fires me the hell up? Mm hmm my dad's gas station is a lady named Kathy. I gave her a check for, she invested about 18K. I gave her a check. It was like the six, seven check. I think it was like four or $5,000. Dude, I gave it to her. She hugged me super tight. I started crying. I was like, mm -hmm. Kathy, why are you crying? And she goes, you have no idea. I live paycheck to paycheck working with your dad, but this shit helps me get ahead. And she's like 75 years old. That's huge. Right? The other thing, what um, I remember second time that I realized me was one of my guys, my camera guys over here, he, he works for sales. I told him in January of this year, I was like, I was like, bro, I'm gonna give you the biggest freaking check, and I want you to give it to your dad and watch what happens. Literally signed him a six-figure check. He takes it to his dad. He was like, bro, that feeling that I got was crazy, brother. I literally, you can ask my wife, dude. I was, I'm it's literally cool getting emotional thing. just thinking about it. Yeah, I was like, bro, cool that that out. right there, that's what gets me satisfied, though. Yeah, you always think about being able to give back to the it, people that gave to you exactly bro. or people so that's the circle that i want those are the people i want to come to our mm. event dude is the people who just want to shake it up just change life you know mm -hmm. not the, not the basic if you basic bullshit you want to do you know good luck to you if you want to take it to the next level you you guys got to come come to this circle you got to come to this event it's gonna be yeah. fun it's yeah. gonna be entrepreneurship learning about business having fun and everything too i'll guarantee you guys after the event everybody will have fun during the event, every, it, it, it's crazy. We'll have a lot of shows let's talk and stuff about, going on. Let's talk about pricing because sure. it's going to be a badass event, but yeah, most yeah. people, like, hide it, and then they're like, text us. Like, I think the pricing that you came up with is so crazy, and we're only taking 500 people and cutting it off, right? That's it, yeah. Yeah, so let's talk about, like, the pricing for a minute because I think this is huge because I think once people hear the pricing, like, to me, it sounds like going to Cabo, Andy Elliott, Bradley, this, it's like, that's a $25,000 trip, right? Correct. So let's talk about it. Okay, so the, so the pricing is huge. When we were structuring this, we didn't want it to the to the point where it's like, you pay like you said, ten thousand dollars to twenty five thousand dollars, and you still got to pay for stay, food, travel, everything, transportation. Mm -hmm. Our cheapest price ticket is fifteen hundred bucks per person. That includes stay, the mm -hmm. event, hanging out with you, partying it up, learning, and transportation. And then the only extra cost that you have to get is a flight ticket. Simple. So you can get a vacation out of it for what twenty two thousand to about twenty five hundred bucks. And stupid. Yeah, and then you can get a VIP ticket, which is uh, five thousand dollars, I believe. Yeah. Which is on the twentieth, we're doing a mastermind, which is about limited to fifty people. Yeah. Just and that's just in a very close people with, you know, where mm -hmm. you're there mm -hmm. answering people's Q and A questions and stuff, whatever questions it is, mm -hmm. right? If it's in, related just, to your industry, just we're breaking close. down. That, I always tell people, man, if I'm going to go to an event, I'm going VIP. 
Always broke. And, and the reason why is And because, you said that at the vault conference last year when I was there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the conversations that I've had at the VIP always took me somewhere. There's always been a $10 million conversation that was had from a $5,000 VIP. Always. And a general ticket is cool, and I want to learn everything that everyone knows. But people, they know they need a network. But it's not that they need a network. They need a network with the right people. Exactly. It's and the right people are the people that are the big dogs that get off the couch that go to that VIP. And that's where, like, introductions happen that you need. Handshakes get made with relationships that will last a lifetime. Like, you never know. And yeah. anyway, so that's why, I like, the power in the VIP yeah. is that, like, we're done teaching. Now we're going to slow down. Now this is going to be a caged area for the biggest thinkers. And everybody can can talk exactly. And then we chose Mexico. One, I love Cabo. Oh yeah, Cabo is badass. On, on, on the beach, we'll be running around. Maybe you can do some fitness stuff on the beach and stuff like oh, that with everybody. Kill it. Dude, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> yeah, so, so rather than just going to Vegas or Texas or something like that, let's just bam, let's have well, fun. Well, so someone can buy a plane flight. Correct. They literally spend fifteen hundred bucks, basically. Correct. They get three days. Correct. Transportation, includes, everything included: swag bag, transportation, transportation food, swag, drinks, everything. Food, drinks, everything. Everything. Guys, that's it's a stupid. No it's a no-brainer. That's stupid. It's no-brainer. And yeah. on top of that, after that, um, we, we, we we want to continue to add more value to you guys. So yeah. me and my company, we're going to have once a week, we'll have a question uh, uh, where we have one-hour Zoom calls. Mm. With the people that whatever attend? Whatever the heck you want. With the people that attend? Yeah, with our whole entire community. Mm. So I have, a, what, 500 investors with our expo community. You can ask them questions. You can ask us questions, whatever the heck it is. And we're just trying to add as much mm. value as possible. And I'm going to guarantee you guys this, too, that when you guys get into this, this type of circle, right, the, all I'm looking for people is to work with one another. Yeah. That's the biggest thing that I wanted to do growing up was to work mm. with people. Like, like, what can I add value to Andy? How can Andy, Andy add value to me? Yep. So then I just created this community of how we can do this. So if you're just looking for you yourself, get out of here, bro. And on top of that, when you guys want these tickets, it's not just for everybody. Like I said, my guys are going to interview you too. Like, what's your industry? What's your net worth? What are you trying to do? Well, like, like, uh, why are you trying to come you gotta with You've got to be it? serious. you got to be serious. It's only for yeah, people who I, are serious. And I love that up. you said earlier, you said, I'm not about the rich. You go, if you're rich, that's cool. But I'm about people that are just ready to make a change Correct. and a difference in their life. Correct. Bro, I've I've rejected people who wanted to give me a million dollars, and I've mm-hmm. expe- accepted ten thousand dollars from people mm-hmm. just because of their vibe and the way they are, dude. Mm-hmm. Like we were having that conversation on Bradley's offers, remember? Mm-hmm. But that one conference that you're gonna do, yep. we see so many people and stuff like that. But you want to work with people who you connect with and you so align important. your your vision and values with. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I would love for you to come spend time with me in Cabo. I'm gonna be speaking at a badass event. It's gonna be three days. That's stupid dirt cheap. Number one, use it as a vacation. Use it as a time to come get close to me. And by the way, we're going to do it in Cabo. So if you want information on this event, you want information on this trip, and you're ready to change your life, and you want to do it with me, if I've brought you any value at any point in time and I've changed your life, wait till you see what I'm going to be bringing to Cabo. There's a side of me that you haven't met that I'm going to be bringing there. And by the way, I want to know who you are. I want to get close to you. Where are we going to do that? We're going to do it in Cabo. You guys see the number below? Just shoot a text. Say, hey, I saw this on Andy's podcast. I want information to go to Cabo. We'll send you all the details. We love you guys. Let's get back to the video. You know? Most people don't understand how They don't understand. That. you got to have standards. That's the number mm-hmm. one thing. Nowadays, nobody talks about standards, dude. Like, there's so many dudes out there mm-hmm. and uh, the entrepreneurs, whatever, whatever it is, standards. Like, one thing I love that Andy does is he focuses on fitness and ties it with business. Mm-hmm. Brother. I, I, I did men's physique when I was uh, 2015. Mm-hmm. I think I was uh, 21 or 22 years old. Yeah. Bro, you know how hard it is to freaking get to, what, 2% body fat. Yeah, it's it's super hard. And, and, and that's what I love. And the discipline. Yeah. <laughs> Controlling yeah. your mind. When your family's out there eating pizzas and burgers and shit, bro, if you can do that, dude, you apply that, that same discipline, that dominant effect. I call it dominant. Yeah. Right? D for determination. Over for overcoming all obstacles. M for mastering mindset, I for intensity and focus, mm-hmm. and then N, N for no excuses, A for action, mm-hmm. T for teamwork, and then E for extreme execution. That's good shit. Well, and you take that, what you just said. And, and apply it in life If you everywhere. want that, you go to this place, you spend three days in Cabo with us in Mexico, on the beach, studying, learning, 
It's life changing. Exactly. And it's a whole vacation for fifteen hundred bucks. That's exactly. stupid. And then you just figure out where you're flying from and get your butt out there. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, a couple a couple tips that you would say that has really helped you get to this point to where you are now. Like I understand now you're come up, but like what are some good decisions that you made? Good decisions. I never take a no for an answer. You can ask my team. I've never taken a no for an answer. I've made one one time. I'll just give you a simple example. I had a lawyer. Um, I called him and I was like, "Hey, this is what I'm trying to do with this contract." And I'll go, mm -hmm. "Hey, bro, we, it, it's it's obvious. It's it, it's not possible." I'm like, "Dude, I'm not paying you to tell me it's not possible. Either you have 24 hours to figure the shit out. If not, I'll find somebody else who knows how to figure the shit out mm -hmm. or find a loophole. There's always a way. Always, always a way. If there's a will, there's a way. I'm trust me, bro." Like, my whole entire six years that I've built, there's always a way. Mm -hmm. Checks out. Six hours later, bro, he calls me and he says, give me uh, 48 hours. I found a way, and I'll have that contract in your email. So you don't have to listen to your lawyer. They just need to find the way. CPA is the same thing. Yeah. Right? The other thing is, too, is you got to think big, bro. Mm -hmm. People are so afraid to dream and think big. And they're like, I can't do this because X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Dude, it's just literally information and practice. Mm -hmm. How did you become You said you hated sales, didn't you? Yeah, I wasn't very good at sales yeah. until I learned what it paid. And I was like, oh, shit, I like yeah. sales. Yeah, and then you became the master of sales. Yeah. The, but what'd you do? You, you just study the shit out of it. And yeah. what is it? It's and like then the I gym. fell in love with it. Yeah, and then it's just like the gym. You grab five pounds, and repetition, repetition. Then you go to 10 pounds, repetition, repetition, sets. Mm -hmm. And then you go to 15, repetition, and sets. It's the same thing about life, bro. And then the other thing is, too, like the biggest thing, like, like we talked about, the circle. Circle's huge. Huge. It's everything. Huge. It's everything, dude. And it's like I would not be sitting here talking to the man andy elliott if i did not change my circle bro that's huge you know yeah. just like what my guys know too there's some some of the guys that were well, this whole entire time of six years like oh they're just they're just fooling us around they're not that big they're not doing this they're not doing that and when we posted the podcast with brad lee bro they lost their shit mm -hmm. i like that burning your haters eyes out bro so and that's the other thing that i would recommend too if somebody talks shit shit behind her prove them wrong dude prove them wrong yeah you know, and it just adds fuel, gives me ideas. When Tommy starts talking about me, obviously I'm doing one something good. Number two is you're giving me more ideas. Like one of my guys, he was like, "Oh, I'm I'm such a sales guy," you know. And I was like, "You know what? Fuck you guys. We're gonna create a sales course, and we're gonna give it to him for free first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Well, and one of the things that I like about you too is that we met at the vault, which Correct. is Patrick Bet David's event. Correct. Which means we're both teachers. We're both very successful in business. Never stop learning. But we're still learning. You have to. I be. mean, you know, I. I mean, we're sitting in the seats and shutting up for three days to learn because, you know, there's a hundred million dollar idea that's going to come out yeah. and I'm going there for it. Yeah. And there might be a little thing because the little things don't mean a lot. They mean everything. Exactly. There might be a little thing that once I was doing that helped me maybe because of just how we are as humans. Maybe I'm not doing that little thing anymore. That's it. Yeah. And someone can help me and, and that teaches me and that makes a big paradigm shift in my life. Yeah. So. Never um, stop learning. I mean, that's the number one thing, bro. Never stop reading. Never stop learning. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's like like you just you just hit it on the nail, dude. The other thing is too, like Andy, like you have information. Mm -hmm. I have information. You've been through some shit. I've been through some shit, mm -hmm. right? And if we're talking, we're having these conversations and yeah. everything. You're gonna take something. Oh shit! I could have done this. I, I do every this. time. That's it. You know, although I'm I'm a lot younger than you. You know. Yeah. And then, but there might be, I've, dude, I've talked to people who are 75 years old and some of the stuff I say, like, dude, how does this 31 year old know this information? Cause you stop studying, you stop learning. Well, but it doesn't take anybody very long when they become serious to become great. Exactly. And that's what I love about these conferences is that everything that you've learned that you once didn't have the life you wanted, you studied this information, you've applied your own style to it. You've learned from multiple different pieces or different people. It's all blended into you now. That's exactly. made your identity and who you are, what your beliefs are, how you operate. 100%. And then now you're this new human being that's never existed, and now you're teaching what you're doing. And it's life-changing. Along the way, bro, as you're teaching, you start remembering things, too, mm -hmm. that you've forgotten. I, I've, that's the number one thing I've noticed. Sometimes I was Everything just talking to my guy. runs in cycles. Exactly, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Like, oh, shit, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. I always preach this. Oh, shit. You know, it's just kind of like uh, it's perfecting your art in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, you, yeah. you're just getting better and better and better. Well, being obsessed and being a perfectionist is how people become great. 100%. Yeah, so that's why you're doing that. Um, mm -hmm. Guys, so this event that we're putting on in Cabo, it's going to be badass. If you've been following me now, I don't know where you live, but if you've been following me now and you're like, dude, I want to kick some ass, man. I want to get close to Andy. Um, I want to get close to Bradley. I want to meet them too. I love this guy's story. And you're like, dude, this guy's a savage. I want to know what his blueprint is. 
I want to know what I can become in three days of stepping away from where I'm at and total immersion into just self-development. Remember, if you want to win, you got to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. If you don't work on yourself, you're not ever going to change. You're never going to become who you're supposed to be. I'm, I'm breaking my family bloodline right now. I'm creating and breaking. I'm breaking generational curses, but I'm breaking through to a new side of, I was going to say, my family that has never existed. Now's the time for people to decide to step up and be the one in their family to change everything. Exactly. And so this event's here for you guys. I want you to come spend time with me. I want you to spend time with Brad. I want you to spend time with my boy Omni here. And uh, um, is there an N or is it Omni? Omni. Well, There's end. no N. No. Omni is in <laughs> Dallas. Yeah. That's a hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you guys, the things that will happen in three days when you step outside of where your normal life is and you just be open-minded. Dude, you go back home a total different human being. Like your standards are to a whole new level. The way you believe is on a new level. And you can go back to wherever you're at. You don't have to quit what you're doing. What you'll do is do what you're doing now differently. Or maybe you're like, oh my God, I got a new vision. I want to do something different. I'm sure with all the people you'll meet and the opportunities, you won't even be able to take all this stuff being put into you at one time. Um, I love I love somebody over-delivering, and that's what we're going to do at this event. 100%. 100%. Yeah. So, guys, listen, this is your time. Right now, if you want to turn your annual income into your monthly income, and that's no bullshit. If you want to really create I've done big it. things. Andy's done it. I know. It's, yeah. Dude, it's, I say no big shit, yeah. bullshit. Like, I 50 x my income in 24 months. Bro, um, you know what's crazy? Growing up, I thought about $100 was a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And then got the business ten thousand, making ten thousand dollars a month was like good money. Mm -hmm. And then you get to the point where you're like, man, I just want to make a freaking hundred thousand dollars a month. And you and I, we've gone way surpassed that. Yeah, dude. dude. The sky's the limit, dude. Well, and then you start thinking you make a million a month. Yeah. And that's going to put you here. And then you realize, well, that didn't put and me there either. Shit. <laughs> well, it, it's just, it's, and it's, it's not because you're blowing it. Okay. It's because you're, you're starting to self invest in yourself differently, Correct. and you're, and you're building your empire. And empires are expensive. Exactly. And so if you're building your empire, it's going to take more fuel yeah. um, because money is a, is a resource yeah, yeah. to help you build for six years, what you want. Andy, for the six years that I've been in the business, I've never bought anything for myself, dude. Mm -hmm. Not the flashy cars and nothing. You know what I'll do? If I had $100,000, I'll go pay Patrick Bedeva for an hour conversation just to learn from him. Yeah. I'll pay you $50,000 for two, three hours just to learn from you. Yeah. That shit, I know it's going to compound. It, what, are, what are the nice cars and stuff? So my, well, my friends, they were buying the nice cars and everything. They were flying first class and everything. I was staying low so I can build this. Mm -hmm. And now I'm able to take my family wherever the heck I want, whenever I want, do business with whoever I want. Yeah, you put your when you make decisions like that, um, and I mean like to go all in on yourself, to yeah. bet on yourself, right? Um, I've never seen anybody not put their family in a special place. 100%. Right? Like, like my family's, I was saying that earlier, so my family's in a very special place because... I decided to go all in on me, and I decided that I was going to be the one that was going to change my family. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and so that's what you, that's the decision you guys need to make together. Um, you guys see a number below, okay? If you want information on the Cabo event, okay, it's going to be three days. It's going to be badass. You're going to be with me, super affordable, okay? Go have yourself the nicest vacation. Go down there and change your mindset, your life, your education. Learn everything. Let us get close. And go back home and just take over the world, guys. So we love you. If you want to be a bloodline breaker and you want to change your entire bloodline, this is your opportunity. Just text that number below. Say, I saw you on Andy's podcast. Send me the information. We'll send it over to you. And kick ass. Bring a friend. Bring your wife. You know, whoever's important to you. You know, sure. come alone if you need to. But most importantly, it's only going to be 500 people. So there won't be 5,000 people. It's going to be 500 people and we're cutting it off. It's going to be an intimate training. It's going to be kick ass. And, guys, I love you. I appreciate it. How can they follow you on Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is amrinder, A-M-R-I-N-D-E-R -E underscore X pro. Yeah, guys, shoot him a follow. Make sure that you DM him if you have any questions. But most importantly, you guys can text that number. We'll get you the ticket information. Um, we love you guys. I will see you guys in Cabo, okay? And I appreciate yeah, this you. Is gonna be awesome. We're going to change a I lot of lives, wait. man. I love you guys. Wait. See you soon. Will you fucking fight back? Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.